Hi everyone, it's Luke from Makers Empire, thanks for joining me. In this quick video, I'll explain what the empty layers error is and how to avoid it. In older versions of UpStudio, it's also known as the data transfer failure 2 error. Here you can see a file I'm wanting to print. It's a little block with my name on it. But unfortunately, I'm still getting the empty layers error. A couple of things can cause this error. The first of which is present in this file. If I tilt the camera down ever so slightly, you'll start to notice a bit of a gap between the block and the text. Because the 3D printers work by putting layers upon layers, when it gets to that spot, it'd have a gap and would detach and most likely get stuck to the nozzle. Thankfully, the fix is easy. Just head into Maker's Empire and push the text down so it's touching the block and the file should work. Here I have another file ready to print. It's simply a block with a cone on top. And as you can see, it's definitely touching the block. Unfortunately, we're still getting the empty layers error message. This has been caused by the cone, and in particular, just how skinny and narrow it is. To fix this, simply widen the base of the cone and it should work. To finish off this video, I'm going to go into a bit of detail about why the cone is causing this error. If you're not interested, then that's all from me, and thanks for watching. In this graphic, you can see the nozzle in grey, the width of the nozzle, 0.4 millimetres, in blue, and the good layers are in green. What makes these layers good is the fact that they are wider than the nozzle of the printer. The yellow layer is the first layer which is too narrow for the nozzle to print, and so the software ignores it. Unfortunately, there's a gap between the good layers and the red layer, and this is what causes the error message. The solution is simply to widen the cone shape. This graphic shows a file that doesn't have the empty layers error. Like before, we have the nozzle in grey, the nozzle width in blue, and all the good layers are in green. The layer in yellow is still too narrow for the nozzle to print, and so the software will again just ignore this. However, because there is no layer above it to consider, the software is happy to just ignore the single yellow layer and continue on. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Maker's Empire and our 3D printing learning program for K-8 schools, check the video description below.